Now we move into the chapter exponential functions. Okay. An exponential function generally looks like this, say y equals to a number a power of x. Okay where x belongs to r is the domain is when we have a variable as a power we have a exponential function for instance y equals to 2 power of x which, which is a exponential function y equals to 2 power of x plus uh, plus 1 okay when we have a variable or a function as a power and a, a constant base, we we have a exponential function. Okay, sometimes y equals to ten power of x is exponential function. Also, uh, in most of the cases, you will say y equals to e power of x. Here. Uh, e is a special number just like your pi they, they means the different thing but they are a special number uh, pi is 3.14159293 six five so on okay, forever e is 2.718 something goes forever okay. they are just special numbers and you can find them in your calculator. Okay, I'll show you in a minute. Special. They're just special numbers. Okay. Um, okay, in your calculator, Okay, what's happened, we go to main and uh, click on the keyboard. We go to math, we, we find your E there. Okay, and uh, it's, it's equals to 2.718.28 something. Okay, basically this is your E, just a special number. And uh, Also, let's look. Let's look at any. Uh, let's look at a exponential function. For instance, y equals to uh, two power of x here. Okay. And uh, in exponential function, we call number two here as the base. Okay. We because no, and the power is the variable. Okay. So, for instance, if I if I show you y equals to e power of x, okay, the base in this the base in this case is the special number e. If I tell you. If I show you y equals to 10 power of x, then the base in this case is 10. Okay. And uh, okay. Now let me do some year 10 revision on your trick uh, on your exponential graph. Like year ten, basic. This is your year ten stuff. In year ten, what we learn is if I have x power of a times x power of b, I will have x power of the sum of a and b. Okay. So in other words, if I 
have 2 power of 2 times 2 power of 5, it would equal to 2 power of 7. Okay. Also, if I have 2 power of a divided by sorry, x power of b, it, I will have uh, uh, the simple, uh, simple Floyd form of x power of the difference between a and b. So it's a minus b. Okay. Also, if I have a power of, sorry, x power of a bracket and uh, power of b here, okay, it will equal to x power of a times b. And uh, also, if I have x power of minus a, it will be 1 on x power of a. Okay, I'll do a few examples. So, assume if I have 2 power of 5 divided by 2 power of 2, I will have 2 power of 3 because 5 minus 2 is 3 using this formula. Okay. If I have 2 power of 2 bracket and the power of the whole thing by say 5, then I will have 2 power of 10 because 2 times 5 is 10. Okay. Similarly, if I have 2 power of minus 2, I will have 1 on 2 power of 2, which is 1 on 4, which is 0 0.25. Okay. This is basically a written stuff. Also, important thing about trigonometry, uh, sorry, about exponential graph is you have to know Any number, okay, say x power of zero is equals to one. Okay, so for example, a hundred power of zero is equals to one. You can check it on your calculator, or zero point zero one power of zero is equals to one. <coughs> also. Um, Even a minus number, minus 20, okay, power of 0 is going to be 1. Okay, So basically any number power of 0 is equal to 1. And uh, <coughs> okay, this is uh, very important. Okay. Okay. Now let me show you the graph of an exponential graph. Okay. Uh, the standard graph of exponential graph is y equals to e power of x. E is just a number. Okay, uh, the graph of the looks like this. Okay, when x is zero, and uh, the y value is always one. Okay, and uh, The graph it looks like something, something like that, okay. and it keeps going to infinity. And uh, I have an asymptote at the horizontal x-axis. So when y equals to zero, there is an asymptote. And y equals to e power of x. X belongs to r. Okay. 
the y-intercept is 1. <coughs> this is the standard graph of exponential function. Um, as we learned in the chapter of transformation, we can always transform this graph to a much complex uh, well, we can always sketch the exponential graph, any exponential graph using the standard graph. And i show you uh, in a minute. But uh, the most important thing is here, you know, exponential graph e power of x or anything power of x cannot be 0. Because here's the awesome term. As the number x decreases, it approaches the asymptote, but the function never reaches the asymptote y equals to zero. So anything power of any number cannot be zero. Okay. Now let me let me do an example on sketching trigonometry graph. For example, if I want to sketch the graph y equals to say 2 times e uh, power of minus uh, 2x plus 1, okay, and x is belongs to r. The first step is to describe the transformation from this graph Oh, sorry, from the standard graph to this graph. So somehow our standard graph can transform to this graph and let's describe it. Okay. Um, this is the standard graph y equals to e power of x. As we can see, uh, there is a reflection because of the minus sign in the power. So reflection on y axis okay <coughs> as as what we learned from uh, the chapter of transformation when the coefficient of x is a minus number okay there's a reflection on y axis okay well if we have a minus in the front there in the front of uh, the whole function, the reflection is on x-axis. Okay, this. But in this case, we have it on the y-axis. Okay. After reflection, we have to describe dilations, and as I can say, there are two dilations because there is a two times something there. Also, the coefficient of uh, x. Okay. Now let's describe them. So first, I describe this. I describe this factor there. So dilation by a scale factor of two in y axis. Okay. Only the coefficient of uh, x has a dilation factor of in x, x uh, in x axis. So let's do it. So we here here we have dilation by a scale factor of one on two okay, in x axis. Okay. Again, when we do in a well, well, when we try to find the scale factor of a dilation in x axis, it's always going to be one divided by the coefficient of x in the function. In this case, the coefficient of x is two, uh, is minus two, but 